chilly morning here in Mississippi, about 38 degrees, with no wind, and it's clear. It's going to be a great day, so let's get up to 75. Great day to be turkey hunting, that's for sure. Just sitting here in a little small wood lot. Hopefully there's some birds roosting nearby. There are some mature woods farther off, about 300 yards, that potentially could have some birds roosting in it. I will just sit here and listen and let it get light. Maybe do some owl hooting and try to locate one. Take advantage of this beautiful day. Turkey just got back behind me. Way back that way. Come get on the move. Sounds like it could be multiple birds. I first heard them way up there. Sound like this way. I come down. And now he's straight that way, so he's not that far away. Yeah, there's just like two of them. One's a little farther away than the other. I think they're those big pines that are just, just beyond this thicker stuff. Maybe I can get to this one. See the trouble goes in. Trying to self film out of it. Real hand fired up. It's had a real hand fired up in the direction of the port of my barrel. Where are you? Flew down and went quiet. 
I don't know which which way they feel down. I'm not I'm not gonna call at all. I don't dare call. I want them to gobble to give their location away. I don't know. I doubt these birds are gonna go anywhere anytime soon. So I'm gonna just slide forward and sit there and listen for a little bit. They finally gobble. And they're just a little bit farther up this creek drainage, not, not, not much farther. It might be where they just actually pitch down to. So I'm gonna move closer, but not much. And I'm gonna just get to where I got a better setup. That in there was just horrible. Birds were roosted up here in these big pines this morning. I think they pitched down over here. They gobbled up the creek a little bit. Bottom's pretty open right there. I may just get up here so I can see into the bottom. Right on this little point coming out. I don't think they're going to go anywhere anytime soon, so I'm going to just chill out and listen. Maybe throw a little soft call every once in a while. He just gobbled right up in there. He's not far at all. slide up to this tree right here just to get past this thick brush right here in front of me. These birds are just hanging around in one location pretty much. Not really moving around. It's because they're down there strapped to a hen or hens and they're just sitting there kind of milling around down there. I see a hen every once in a while. I haven't seen one in a while, but I can hear the drumming. So I know they're down there. He gobbled them up too long ago. Let's see if I can get him to gobble. Down my gun barrel, basically. 
I can't, I'd love to move a little closer or, or move to a different position, but I'm at a disadvantage because I'm on this hillside here and it's just, it's just open enough where they could potentially see me if I start kind of moving around too much. Just gotta be patient right here. Clear cuts that way up to my right and out in front. Kind of wraps around. So they really can only, I would imagine, can only go kind of towards me or off to my left. So that kind of gives me a little bit of advantage. I'm hoping to just work this creek down and I've got some holes to shoot through. I was seeing glimpses of a hen earlier, but I haven't seen her in a while and haven't heard any drumming lately either. They've either drifted off or either the gobblers have stopped strutting and drumming and are feeding also. It's not uncommon for them after they strut and drum to the hens for a while, they start feeding them themselves. We hit a pot call real quick and see if I can get them to gobble. farther off, farther down the bottom there. They didn't gobble to my gobble, but they drummed to it. I'm be careful about my movements here. I can hear the drumming, but it's real faint. It sounds like they're far off. I'm trying to decide where I want to move to. It's, it's tricky because these birds may just sit here and you know, the hens may just sit down here and feed and work their way back and forth down this creek bottom. The gobbler's going to follow them. But there's also a couple of drainages that go kind of up that way, and they may end up working that way. I'm about half tempted to just go back up and make a big loop and, and circle back down that way. Oh, my luck. That's when they'll decide to work back down this bottom and head back that way. Hit an owl hoot to see if I can get them to gobble. They can gobble to a turkey camp calls, but they may gobble to an owl hoot. He'll kind of block it. I'll try to crawl up there. There's some thicker cover right up there. And I can kind of see into that bottom. They sound like they're drumming far enough away that I can move up and not get busted.
tight here for a little while. Listen for some drumming. A goblin scratching the leaves. Anything to indicate they're still around. Last time I heard drumming, it sounded like they were not far up the creek here. Far enough away, I felt it was safe to move up here. So I don't think they saw me. At least I hope not. I'm gonna just chill out here for a little bit and listen. And if I don't hear them again, you know, I'm gonna have to figure out a different plan. Well, I can't seem to relocate these birds. Can't get them to gobble to turkey calls, locator calls. They're hand up and gone quiet, and I have no idea where they're at. I'm gonna head back in and I'll go try and find a. Another gobbler, hopefully one without hands, 